Alone Homestead. My name is Cam. Are you camera shy? <laughs> My name is Cammy, and <laughs> welcome back to Never Alone Homestead, guys. We are having a blast out here onto the homestead. It's a nice, beautiful day, and me and John is at this greenhouse again. Now, I did still have problems again yesterday working on this sidewall because the gentleman before, John didn't do it, I didn't do it, he didn't get the poles right, and of course everything has just been off and we've been having to work with it. Now on top of that, uh, being two inches off on one side, it created me, because I was supposed to have a fan, I was going to put a fan above the door, which would have been really simple to put in, but now because there's two inches, it's cut me two inches short. That's why it's very important to have your building or whatever squared up. And so it's cut me short. So now John and I have discussed it and we're gonna put it on the side over here, have one fan right here onto the side. And on the very end of the other end wall, we're gonna put uh, a fan on that side. So plans have changed. If you'll check out the video, how to build a, a low side wall greenhouse, I did say I was putting the fan above the door. That's before when I was over here working on the sidewall that I found out how, or really on that sidewall over here. And uh, then I found out how off square that was and got on this one and it was even worse. So, you know, sometimes you got to go with the flow, but nevertheless, no matter what, we are having a blast out here building this greenhouse. It's starting to warm up. I just want to give you a quick pick of what John is doing. So John is over here. And I'm working on it, helping him some, and, but I'm fixing to try to put some carriage bolts in. So wish me luck on that one onto wood and steel. Hopefully the drill bit is the right drill bit. Hopefully it'll work. Um, Cause I'm not sure if it's uh, a wood uh, drill bit or a screw, uh, yeah, metal drill bit. So anyways, um, we got this low, this, this stuff's not done. Just so this is, this is it right here. Like I said, into a previous video, I believe the last video, um, coming up on the sides right here, just building a frame right here, and then we're going to put a piece of plywood right there. Um, I have routed on the side over there, so when the plastic comes around or right there on that edge, it's not going to be cutting it. And over here, we're not going to worry about routing it right here because it's kind of flush. And so once we get this right here done, then we're going to work on putting a frame right here of some sort because originally, my fan was supposed to go above the door, but since this side is two inches off by the poles, which has created everything else to be two inches off. John, you can come back in the picture. Okay. So, so, so it, it's just created us to have to, or me have to come up with another plan on where to put my fan. Originally, the fan was going to go above the door on one end and on the other end, but now I'm going to have to put the fan lower, as high as I can get it, onto over here, up here, and then on the very end, on the opposite end, and so we're just go going with this, and it seems to be working out we really well, but just want to show you what is going on with the greenhouse. So, um, in actuality, I, I don't have enough wood because the gentleman used some of the wood for some area, other areas I hadn't planned on it, but hey, nevertheless, all is well. I know what a supply building is, uh, builder supply. <laughs> builder supply is, I can just go get some more wood. Not to complain, but just telling you what's going on with this greenhouse. So maybe some of these uh, uh, things I'm saying that you can use into your life to help you not have some of the problems or help you to excel into your life. So the plan is here with this uh, low sidewall uh, greenhouse roll-up size is that the plywood is going to go here. They're going to frame it up, up here. And uh, the door, is, of course, is going to be a storm door right here. And then what's left not uncovered, the plastic is going to cover right there. The reason of doing it, and it's going to be like that on all, uh, on both the front and the back uh, wall. But both of them are in walls. But anyways, the front and the back. So the reason of doing that, because we live in on, on the East Coast in a hurricane zone, and they're predicting a lot of bad weather this year. But basically, I just want to construct this the best that I can. Um, some people might think it's overkill, but I'm not worried about that because I don't want my uh, low side wall tunnel, actually it is, turn into a greenhouse, go rolling, and hopefully, you know, there won't be any repairs of the size plastic if we do have a, a hurricane, which we probably will have one here on to the East Coast. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is John Blanton with Blanton, so how is it? John Blanton Construction with yeah. John Blanton.
<laughs> you can tell it better than I can, John. Go ahead. I think John's a little bit camera shy. Come yeah, on, I'm John. Cam I'm camera He's, shy. Oh, he missed it. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm not camera shy anymore. Just so, go with it. <laughs> so, yeah, John Blank Construction at 910-352-2121. Uh, John is very busy. He, I haven't had any complaints. I have hired other people, and I have fired every one of them. And I'm not just peculiar. It's just that you got to know what you're doing. You got to, you can't just be doing the work any other way. Cause like on this greenhouse, the greenhouse should have done been completed. I should be working on to remodeling a house uh, inside the house. And now I'm still stuck out here because of the work of another worker. So yeah, so just sharing this with you, sharing what's going on with this greenhouse. So you can be watchful on who you do hire so you won't run into problems that will cost you more That's right. in the wrong, long run. Is that right, John? Exactly right. So That's John exactly gets right. jobs at Tom's or at, people call him and he gives an estimate and then they try and get somebody else and then they don't like the work and the guys messed it up and they call John back. And what happens, John? I have to go back and redo what they did. He has to go back and redo <laughs> what they did. And that's exactly what's been going on with this greenhouse. But nevertheless, my heart is happy. My heart is singing. This, ha this greenhouse is on the way, and um, and it's, you know what? As you take it slow, anyhow, slower, I, you have a tendency, or I have a tendency to change my plans. Or if this had been done by them, it would have been completely wrong. I would have been completely unhappy. And what is my modem? Make it a great day. So God is making it a great day. And we also got to make it a great day. So me and John's make it a great day. That's Let's right. get back to work. <laughs> right, John? That's right. High yeah. five. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. We're going back and getting this greenhouse, getting her done. My aim here in doing these videos is to help people. Maybe I have some ideas and surely leave a comment below. Leave me a comment and help me on this greenhouse. Maybe you see some things that could be done differently. Or maybe you have an idea that you can comment to me. Let's, let's commute together onto the videos and comment to one another because both of us, you and uh, I and everybody else has something to say about something. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I am loading up a next video. God bless you and make it a great day.